to the VW Nut 1967 channel on YouTube. Thank each and every one of you for being here. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is inside both of that engine compartment and that engine compartment right there. I had a request from one of you. Um, I'll get over by my computer here in just a second and I'll bring up the email from uh, Angry Dog VW. I was on a live show uh, over the weekend, my good friend Hazy Days' live show, and Angry Dog heard me talk about how the 1500 single port HO block, that's my Volkswagen engine. Uh, tried and true, love it, reliable, plenty of torque, plenty of horsepower if you only want to do about 65 or 70 on the highway. Like that's my reliable Volkswagen motor. Uh, absolutely love it. So he also has a 67 and had some questions about some of the things inside uh, my 67's 1500. I also run an HO block in my 64 bug. So um, we'll get you guys over the computer. We'll talk about Angry Dog's email to me. And uh, oh, I'll give you guys an update. Told you I'd keep you updated on the skateboard holder. Um, we're going to get it painted today, but we went ahead and rounded the edges here and there. Uh, we got it all sanded down for paint. We trimmed these edges down. I may want to heat those up and roll those over a little bit, but like it's in there. I'm shaking the car with the skateboard in there right now. Um, been driving around a little bit with it on there it hasn't seemed to move we do when we drive we do keep a safety bungee over there just in case something happens and it does pop off like i don't want to wreck my car anyway enough on that so we'll get you guys set up over my, my computer so i can read to you uh what my friend angry dog vw had to say all right so my friend angry dog says uh, uh some stuff about me on the live event talking about my 1500s and how I get it like he gets it. Uh, he says he ran into an issue with a 67 1500 single port, uh, but from an early 69 single port, uh, original engine uh, was the victim of a leaky main seal that got the better of the previous owner. Uh, the person he brought it from uh, had quite a horde of spare parts. Um, he placed a 30 picked one carburetor stamped with a VW 75-1 on the base and a distributor that was a better match for the 34 pick 3 from a 74. Uh, I am currently rebuilding a 30 picked one stamped with a W105 113905205K distributor to see if that makes it run more like a stock engine. Uh, I'd like to know what you are running, if you'd like to share. I would love to share. These two cars are actually uh, set up identically the same. Um, I'm gonna run out to the parts store real quick in that one. And so when I return, I will make sure that I back it in. We will get it closer to this one, pop the engine cover, get you guys up on the tripod, and we will talk. Uh, about answering some of these questions for the Angry Dog VW. Also, if you guys have questions, um, not saying that I'll answer all the questions, but for sure Volkswagen related questions, if I, if I can answer them or if I find it a topic that I'm interested in or it's, uh, it's something that I think will help more, more of you, like Mark's questions I think probably will or that you guys will find interesting, I would be happy to to answer them, uh, vwnut1967 at gmail.com is the email. Uh, we'll be right back. All right, Mark, so we're work looking in the back of the, and ladies and gentlemen, I'll address everybody, and I'll put you guys here, where I won't, you won't be subject to my shaky hand, and then we will adjust you into, there is a distributor and a carburetor, which is Mark's question. So, Mark said that he had a 30 pick one stamped something ought 75 out of a 69 bug or something. Um, okay, and then you replaced it, or you re you're rebuilding with a 30 picked one. This is a 30 picked one stamped VW05. 
and right here on the base that one right there in Ruby uh, is stamped uh, VW 105 same as yours mark um, so that's the same carburetor that I'm running in here um, the distributor does have the numbers on it they're spun around over here so I'm gonna get a 10 millimeter to loosen up the clamp um, my timing is already marked so shouldn't screw up too many things with uh, Miss Ruby uh, so I'll spit so I hope that answers your question mark we are running the same carburetor um, I'll spin this around we'll take a look at the numbers on the distributor and answer your distributor questions all right so I got my 10 millimeter uh, that just loosens up the uh, distributor clamp let me make sure you guys can see that. you guys can see what I'm doing uh, if you don't know there's a clamp right here on your distributor go ahead and ding ding the heck out of the paint on your um, apron too while you're doing it Brian if you, you know you so choose oh am I spinning them both of course I am try this again that should make it so I can spin my distributor to look at the numbers which are right there Continue anything? I'll read you what Mark said. Exact numbers. Mark said his distributor is a 113905205K. Mark, my distributor. Sorry, I told you, Mark. I know it's Angry Dog, but we'll. Sorry, we'll use Mark. Mine is a zero. Zero four three nine zero five two zero five H. I don't have the uh, air cleaner or the preheaters on there right now, but I'll make sure we set the timing okay. Sounds good to me. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put this all back together here. Well, Angry Dog VW, I hope that I was able to at least show you what I have in my 67, and hopefully that helps your 67. Um, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being here and hanging out with me here in the VW 1967 garage. I'm going to pull these two cars out and uh, get to painting the uh, skateboard rack, and uh, we'll see what we get into, and I will see you guys in a couple of days.